Hey guys, what's up? We're here with a timeless reading. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with the highest good. There's something going on with connected with the way that you're feeling and you may be having you may perceive this to be like an issue it can be like oh i don't want to feel that way or i wish that i were feeling differently something like that i'm seeing the two of cups and the three of wands that doesn't mean that it's a stagnant feeling this can be something that's passing Three of Wands, Ace of Cups. It looks like you're making progress within a connection, like trying to feel something out here. This is definitely a connection worth like fighting for, putting the energy or effort into. Maybe you feel like there's a lot that you're dodging right now, though. So Two of Cups, it's like unity, something coming together. This can be you and another person, like something going on with somebody that you're connecting with, just a connection in general. Um, but it can also be you connecting with something that feels important to you. Meaning say some of you guys are learning like how to read tarot or something. It can be that, it's something that you feel connected with and when you do it you feel this sense of um like belonging and something that feels fulfilling within you so it's this thing outside of yourself that you are connecting with that feels like home in a way a relationship of sorts and it's something that your heart feels connected with like two of cups is about finding this thing that feels like it's cut from the same cloth for something that brings you closer to you and brings you closer to home. That's the feeling. Three of Wands is about the progress that you're making, but it feels like... It feels like this is something that you've been tending to. Then we're seeing the Ace of Cups, which can be like this added feeling of connection. So this can mean an additional element that is being added to the recipe of what's being created. However, I am seeing the Seven of Wands, so this can feel like this element that's being added, it may be a tricky element to maneuver with. I'm seeing it be like added to what you already have going on. It can also be, let's say it like this too, for those of you that this is about your skill set, there may be a, a, a trade that you're working on, something that you're learning how to do. Let's again use the example of like tarot or you connecting with your psychic abilities. This can be like you've found the basis of what you feel like you're really connecting with and you've made progress with that. So now you know the basic meanings of the cards, okay? And you just get this feeling every time that you're doing it, like this is what I'm meant to be doing, I feel really good doing this, and there's something within it that's really speaking to me. And because you have like the basic skill set now, I'm seeing your guides be like, okay, you can activate this ability now. So there may be something else that you're learning how to do, but it may be, this aspect of it is like tricky. It may be more difficult or more challenging for you to maneuver through but yeah i'm seeing it be like now that you know the basic cards maybe you're doing readings where you have like a two or three card spread and understanding the relationship between them and what's the bigger picture that they paint you know it's like something on top of what you already have going on two of cups three of wands ace of cups and then seven of wands it's like this challenge that you may be facing because of this like added feature of something this can be within a relationship. It's like you and I are getting together here and 
we're feeling really connected with one another and then like something else is being added to the mix you know it can be like somebody that you get along with really well and then like a feeling pops up and it's like oh what's this mean now I feel like something's developing here between like me and this person you know something like that and it may not be totally straightforward is the feeling of this it's like something where you may feel like you have to watch your step a bit meaning like being mindful but it's worth it to you it's like this dance that you have to do but I'm seeing it be this is worth it There may be something that you have to go back to and tend to in order to in order to go forward again. I'm getting really tongue tied here. Cause this Seven of Wands particularly, especially connected with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so ten ten of cups walk up to the ten of cups, but doesn't this look like this person is going down? And this card is coming out before this one, okay? So we're going from this to this. You may have had to like turn back around to tend to something over here. So then you could like walk without feeling like something was at your back coming towards you is the feeling. And then you can get there. So yeah, I'm seeing it be <laughs> like knocking my plant around over here. I'm seeing you may have needed to like go back to tend to something in order to proceed forward. It reminds me of like in a video game when they have coins and stuff and you get to that part where you're like about to cross the finish line and it's like, hmm, I could go back and get some more of those coins and you wanna like go back and get whatever it was that you missed and then come back here. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. So yeah, maybe there's maybe there's something that you feel is valuable so you're going back for it in order to bring it into where you are now. Because I'm seeing you be like at that point where you're basically completing the level, but there's something that you're going back for to bring forward into that completion with you that maybe you like missed along the way, you would feel or it would be useful to you to go backwards for this reason. This can be like going over something again too. Relearning something or adding more to what you're learning or connecting with. It feels like this is all you working with what you have already and just adding on top of it. Four of Coins and the Seven of Swords. This can be... Seven of Swords can be like a defensive move that we're making, kind of like I gotta watch my back. It can be this paranoia that we feel. And I see Four of Coins as being like storing that up. So you could be anticipating something. That's definitely something to be mindful of. Like if you feel like you need to it reminds me of when people get into an argument with one another and one of the people is like bringing up stuff from three years ago and it's like you're bringing this up now it's like when people have added on resentment stuff like that this is what this feels like with the four of Pe four of pentacles and the seven of swords it can be like something that's stored away but for the purpose of like using it to one's advantage later on but maybe in a way that one wouldn't feel super proud of doing. So you could be you or somebody around you, but let's just say this is you. Um, you could be storing something up or saving something up, but having something is motivating this, but it may not be something that it could be something that you're looking at and just being like, I'm doing that for shadow reasons, why I'm holding on to that. It's like, just in case you need it. But like, why? Why are you in a mindset where you're like, just in case I'm going to need that, you know? 
it's good to check in like what's motivating this for you because it almost feels like you not fully trusting something or not fully trusting that you're safe because seven of swords but especially with this seven of swords you see how this person you can't really see them you see a lot of dark over here and you just see their like hand out here and the weapons that they have that they're like planning to use and this can be saving it up like i'm not going to use it now i'm not going to use it now i'm going to wait till the right time but like why are you like laying in wait preparing yourself to use this it's like just in case i need it but that can really show you something important here because it's showing you where your ego is like having an agenda and doing something over here Because this even feels like something that you like wouldn't want somebody else to see or maybe you wouldn't even admit to. It's like if somebody could see what's going on over here or like this was exposed, you may be like, I don't feel good about being associated with that. So that's also something to keep in mind as well. Like our perceptions of um, like people judging us and what they may judge us for is really just a reflection of what we may judge ourselves for. And so if you're looking at something and being like, I don't want other people to see me in that light, it's because like you don't want to be in that light, you know, or in that shadow. So it's telling you, oh, this isn't aligned with my values or this isn't aligned with like my integrity. Which is a great thing to see because it's just you learning more about yourself here experiencing yourself learning more about yourself but yeah i i feel like this is showing you like maybe where your heart's not completely open to something or there could be something with the throat chakra as well because this is swords here but i get it as like you may not have an intention of i'm just gonna pull this out and like be playing on the offense this may be a defensive move of yours that you have So that could be your, I don't want to say excuse, that could be your reason for why this may seem okay. Because it's like, well, I'm not going to deploy that unless there's reason to, but you're already anticipating there being reason to use it. And it's interesting that that's something that's coming up for you, that that's something that you're focusing on, that that's something that you're cautious of. Because it's like this slight paranoia that you're seeing. And there's like a deeper seed that that's going to be connected to. Yeah, I'm getting it again. It's like this just-in-case energy. It's showing you where you're not fully in trust with yourself, ultimately. Uh-uh, okay. I am seeing you move on from this. So, whatever that was... Very interesting the way that the guides are showing this. It's kind of like a snapshot of something that I'm seeing not so relevant anymore because you're moving away from it. So Seven of Swords was like this, feels again like a preparation energy, like stacking something up. Because this is talking about saving something, stacking something up. But see how this is in a desolate area? So it's like nobody's touching that, nobody's using it. It's just for like in case I need it. And this is like what's actually being stacked up there. And this is going to be a defensive move. But then six of swords is like your mind being at ease. Like, oh, I don't need to do that. I don't need to have that. This feels like getting out of some, some like psychology or mental pattern that you had been in. Where you were like like ready to fight or do something like that where now you're like I don't want to I don't want to be doing that anymore I don't want to be thinking even like that anymore or buying into those thoughts that pop up I like I don't want to be acting on it like that even if I would have only done it if the situation called for me to like I don't even want that to be in my head of possibilities of what's going to be happening here so I'm seeing this thing, Seven of Swords, again, this like little seed of paranoia, you being like, gotta have this just in case, 
like whatever that was for you that you were doing that again you wouldn't have felt good about this isn't just like I want to be prepared and this is something that feels in alignment to be prepared for this was something that didn't feel in alignment and that's why it's being shown the way that it is because there's nothing wrong I mean there's nothing wrong with any of this but there's no like issue there are good feelings about being prepared for something and being ready and thinking about the possibilities and being practical but this was coming from a shadow space and that's why it needed to be addressed because it's coming from you being like i can't let my heart be all the way open i'm not fully in trust with myself and so something's going on up here that is the most accurate it's not exactly paranoia but that's like the closest thing that i can relate this to to make sense for this it's like that little feeling of like I'm not safe of just in case but in a way that you wouldn't want to be associated with this and because you're now doing what you need to do to here to put your mind at ease this helps you move forward from that. So like we don't need to be in the seven of swords anymore. The six of swords is about resolution and finding peace of mind so you can move on from that mentality of the seven of swords. You may have just been doing that too before, even though like you're not doing it anymore because you've done what you need to do psychologically for yourself to square this away. Before, like I'm seeing your mindset, it's not like it's anything bad or whatever. It was just that in your mindset, you're like, well, I'm looking out for myself by doing this. But then when you get to a place where you're in full trust with yourself, you don't have to do all of that. You're changing your reality. You're moving on from it, but I'm seeing it feel a little bit rocky still on the water of that transition. But I'm definitely seeing just like an attitude shift where before it was like, nobody's going to help me. And so I have to be in that space of looking out. But again, in a way that maybe you wouldn't have felt good about behaving like that. Like it could have even been something that you felt ashamed of even. Like, why am I taking on that stance in that way? It felt very rudimentary even. And now I'm seeing you being moving into a space where you actually may open your heart in a way where you want to be more helpful. And this is also like figuring out how you can do that. Seems like there's a lot of personal change that's going on here. There are definitely topics coming up like a feeling of belonging, a sense of belonging. I'm seeing that come up here. I'm also seeing you try to find your way and be like... Um, what do I feel like is my purpose as far as like little steps that I can be taking now that align with something where I feel like I'm helping or I'm useful or I'm effective. I'm doing something that matters to me. That feels happy to me. And page of coins can be just little things that you're doing for yourself and or for other selves currently. even in little ways and understanding that those little ways are just as significant as the big ways because we have a page here. So this can be something that you're doing that's starting off small right now, but it holds a lot of meaning because the 10 of cups is associated with it. So it's like no matter what the size of this, like every little bit helps, all of it is helpful. And this is the appropriate space for you to be starting in right now. Because page is like, it can grow exponentially. It also feels like you being on the right side of things. 
is how this is coming through. So like in duality, in polarity, you can see one side as being a side that you don't prefer being on, and this side is a side that you do prefer being on, and that's where I'm seeing you be, if we're looking at things in that way. Yeah, so coming back to this like storyline that I'm seeing here, I'm seeing something about a connection, something that you had or something that you have, but it seemed more like something that you were holding on to that was stowed away a bit. And I'm seeing the, the topic of the future coming up here and also about the moves that you've been making and what you've been preparing for. And I'm seeing that you could have found your yourself in a spot where you were preparing for something that maybe you decided I don't need to be doing that anymore. So maybe something that doesn't feel relevant to you anymore, but it was for a minute, but then I'm seeing you reevaluate and be like, that's coming from a closed off space, why I'm doing that. And so I don't want to be motivated by that any longer. Like, I don't even want to be in that mentality anymore. And so I'm seeing you really like shift direction here. Because going from the Seven of Swords to the Ace of Cups, this is like you could have been doing something that would have perpetuated you abandoning something or sabotaging something that's connected with a connection but then you getting to this point where rather than seven of swords taking over your mind and having you like really be on the defense here you open your heart to the ace of cups and you allow yourself to feel that connection and that unity once again and i'm seeing that's like really what puts you at ease what i'm seeing also is that so you could have been preparing to do something maybe like under the table in some sort of way but then i'm seeing you be like i don't want to do it like that I want to do it a different way okay and this is like above board it seems that you would be like I feel okay with the way that I'm doing this and I'd be okay with like other people seeing the way that I'm doing this again just using that as a reference for how you ultimately are seeing yourself so then as you're moving away from like that mentality that you had been in before as you've like integrated that and transmuted it into something else I'm seeing the seven of wands and the five of wands here so this can mean like I'm doing things this way, but it's not as easy because now that it's in the light, I feel like I have to be more deliberate and careful with the way that I'm moving, especially being deliberate where it's like, I feel like I have to pay attention to every step where before you could have felt like there weren't eyes on you, meaning you weren't conscious of certain things. So it was like, I can do anything down here in the dark, you know, like the way that you were doing things before. But now that it's like in the light, meaning you're aware of it, conscious of it, it can feel more exhausting because it's like every step now is so deliberate, but I'm seeing it really be worth it to you again. So this is that like I have to come back to move forward with this. So I'm seeing you like go back to tend to something here and it has to do with like conflict that you were feeling, which could have also shown up as there being conflict with people in your life or you having to stand up for something and get it to work together. So within you, this would have been conflict. You could have also seen this reflected with other selves that you were connecting with too. Um, but yeah, coming back to this, something needed to be resolved. So you had to come back, resolve this thing, and then move forward. So then when you're walking, you feel like nothing's going to hit you from the back where before this could have done that. And it's all stuff that you were setting up too. This isn't like somebody outside you coming to get you. This is like stuff that you're all setting up here that could have come back to bite you in a way that you're like, oh, I should have gone back there and like corrected that or fixed that. So I'm seeing like that's what's being done here, okay? And now then I'm seeing you be like, oh, the 10 of cups like right in front of me. And I'm seeing you be very close to reaching that. And then I'm also seeing the page of coins. And so, this is like a different mentality that you're getting into where there's 
the mentality of the page of the page of coins the page of pentacles is you doing little things within your life that or like how you want to be living and what you want to be doing for yourself and you helping yourself and you also being helpful to other selves too. I'm just, I'm getting you in a very conscious space. It can just be a bit challenging sometimes with that much light because of everything that's coming up and everything that we're seeing and everything that we're aware of but i'm seeing you be in a spot where you feel like happiest when you're being helpful and when you're doing things that are like aligned with that sort of cause and that may have not been what was happening before completely and there's definitely a highlight of this not being some wild huge grand gesture that's happening it feels like you starting off in some like small way nonetheless it's still just as significant because i'm seeing it be something like that feels really happy for you some of you this is connected with the service that you're doing too it can be within your personal life can be outside of that can be both. The biggest challenge for you is finding like where in your life you feel like you're not safe and watching how that shows up and being mindful of that and finding ways to transmute that. Because I'm seeing the Seven of Swords is definitely a huge topic within the like energetic imprint of this reading where you learning how to trust yourself and not hold on to this paranoia of like, what are other people doing? What are other people thinking? All this projecting onto other people. Other people like I can't trust them, have to close my heart off, got to protect my heart. It's like all of these things that are just you thinking like I can't trust anybody outside of me, like people are out to get me. It's like that type of thinking that's tied in with that paranoia. Or thinking you need to do things where you're not being transparent or not being out loud or in the light or bold about what you're doing. It's like feelings that would have you feeling like you need to hide things or people are hiding things from you. It's like all of that sort of stuff. Again, like need to protect my heart. Um, it's, it's all just coming from a space of you not feeling safe. So this is you getting into a spot where... getting into a spot where that's being addressed. And I'm seeing this be like a really deep seated thing, actually. Meaning maybe something happened within um, your childhood or as you were growing up that made you like really lose trust for other people and in turn like yourself, stuff like that, you know? So this is like really going back to something that I'm seeing is definitely, again, deep seated. This can also be being in, in a position in a relationship with somebody that you felt was very conditional as well, where you felt like you had to hide parts of yourself, otherwise you wouldn't be accepted. This is in, a, in your like formative years. So there can still be things that you hide because you feel like you're not... Um, safe and this also comes back to like an evolutionary psychology standpoint as well because like back 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 in time when we were in like packs when we didn't have like the technology and all of this stuff you had the group and conformity was important because if you didn't conform you would be ostracized and then it was likely that you would die because you were on your own and so a lot of these like psychological imprints that we have, we can like trace them all the way back to that of if you were like canceled from the group, then you'd be out on your own and the likelihood of you surviving severely um, decreases, you know, so it's better to be within the pack and the pack mentality and to follow the rules of what everybody's saying. But now that we're moving into a different space, like spiritually and physically for ourselves, 
This is about um, like regulating your nervous system and figuring out where these things are coming from so you can still be integrated with everybody and know what these things are and where they're coming from and why you're feeling the way that you're feeling and also doing what you need to do to create a safe space for yourself where you're actually feeling that where you're actually seeing that be reflected through the thoughts and actions of you. But yeah, it's something very deep-seated that's being worked on. But I'm getting that this is just transmuted by self-trust and you having the courage to be honest here with yourself and those around you. and self-trust. And that's the karmic challenge currently that's being faced. Doing everything above board. I will say this too, um, you, you wanna be mindful of what you are consuming, not just food, I mean like energetically in all ways even though food can be included in this, but I mean like media, just things that you're exposing yourself to. Because when you're around other people that have closed off heart chakra or that are um, really in the polarity of their paranoia and stuff like that, it's gonna be like, protect yourself. You're not safe. This person's gonna take advantage. These people are talking about you. So like be mindful of what you're gravitating towards and how that's affecting you and your mentality. Like, are you exposing yourself to things that are having you feel unsafe, paranoid, scared, feeling like you need to be, like, peeking out the blinds, stuff like that? Somebody's gonna, like, sabotage you or backstab you or whatever, you're not safe, you know, all of that. Like, is that the mantra that you're repeatedly exposing yourself to? Or is it something else? Because those things will just reinforce this thought pattern. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.